Hello Supercell Maniacs and welcome back to my channel. Dorian Yates is known for being the first mass monster, the one who started the mass game for all the others to follow, but he was also known for his crazy conditioning. Many people even considering the he was uh, coming too conditioned in the day of the show, losing too much mass during the prep and one argument for this statement is uh, his 1993 before the Olympia photo shoot. Some say this is 3 weeks out, others say that this is 6 weeks out. What I know is that Dorian actually did 2 photo shoots in 93, one at uh, 6 weeks out and one at 3 weeks out. There are uh, photos with him hitting the front double biceps and the front lat spread in both occasions and you can tell the differences. For the other mandatories we have only one version and he looks more like in the 6 weeks uh, front double than in the 3 weeks uh, one. If you look at the legs and the conditioning in general so I just assumed the rest of the poses are from the 6 weeks out photo shoot but I, I could be wrong. Anyway regardless of that the available photo shoot pics at uh, 3 or 6 weeks out of the, of the Olympia show that he was already in very good condition, many people considering he could have uh, stepped on the stage as he was. So what are we gonna do in this video is compare these photo shoot uh, pics to his Mr. Olympia pics from 1993 and see when he looked better to see if he was too downsized at the show and also decide if his photo shoot conditioning could have been enough. And we start with the first pose, the front double biceps. This is a pose that Dorian would normally lose against other top competitors, even here in 93 before his bicep tear. He would mostly lose this pose because of his weak bicep development, because other than that he had a good V taper and strong legs at least for that period. But as we can notice here in the photo shoot pic, his guns look very impressive, maybe not very detailed but definitely competitive from a size point of view. So the photo shoot wins this department. His V taper is more impressive in the photo shoot as well as his lads flare out more, but this could be from the camera angles also as the Olympia peaks are taken from a bad angle. Yes, also keep this in mind guys that uh, the angles are different and scaling these peaks might get tricky. I can't be 100% correct. Downstairs he definitely looks more massive in the photo shoot but I prefer, I prefer the cuts he has at the show. For some odd reasons his calves look bigger at the Olympia. A reason for this might be that I cropped too much from his calves for the photo shoot. Overall, I think the photo shoot version is more competitive, but I'm not uh, sure about the conditioning though. It might not be enough. Next is the front lat spread and here we can notice the crisp conditioning he had 6 weeks out, which is crazy. Just look at his quads guys. Upper body he packs so much more muscle or mass I should say. And here comes a theory I read in the comment section that sounds something like this. Dorian Yates looked so good in the front lat spread or his lats were so big and visible rather because he had weak arms. And by the looks of it, this might not be too far away from the truth. If uh, we take a look at the photoshop peak, his lats are definitely not as visible as uh, at the Olympia and this is because his arms are bigger. His chest is fuller so the lats seem to represent a smaller proportion of the overall mass in that region. What do you guys think about this theory? As for the better version, I still prefer the photo shoot one. He looks both massive and ripped here. Side chest pose and this pose is representative for what this video is about. I believe the differences are most noticeable in this very pose, especially if you look at the chest. It's true that the angle is slightly off for the Olympia but this should make the chest look bigger not smaller. I know you Dorian Knights watching this video always hate it when I say Dorian has a weak side chest but I won't say this about his 1993 6 weeks out side chest. His chest is popping like crazy 
Even his arms and shoulder look big. It's true that downstairs he could use more details, but he might not be focusing too much on the quads here. My point goes to the photoshoot version for this pose as well. Let's turn to the back now and here, by the looks of it, I might prefer the Olympia version more. The details, the striations, the hardness are what made his back double unique and uh, 6 weeks out of the Olympia, he definitely looked uh, softer. He's bigger, don't get me wrong. This version might fare better against O3 Ronnie for example, but overall, I prefer his Olympia version. This is what I think of when I hear Dorian Yates. Also downstairs, if we look at the hamstrings, the Olympia version is superior again. Looking at the photoshoot version by the, striated, by the striations through his glutes, we can assume his conditioning was alright, so this might be enough to go on the stage after all. But like I said, I prefer the Olympia version for uh, this shot. Up next is the rear lat spread and man, look at his 6 weeks out pose guys. That is insane. He might be holding this pose differently, leaning more to the back for the photo shoot, thus being closer to the observer, but regardless, at least upper body, the 6 weeks out version is the winner. Downstairs we have the same story, I would give a slight edge to the Olympia version because his hands look soft in the photo shoot. However, overall I'm giving this pose to his 6 weeks out version. Side triceps and once again from the side, the 6 weeks out seems to be winning this one easily. His lateral head is much thicker first of all, but other than that, look at the chest guys. His chest is so nice and round. Also downstairs, he almost looks as sharp as at the Olympia, which is impossible I know, but the striations are there. This is definitely another point for the photoshoot version. Unfortunately, we don't have an ebb and tie photo for the 6 weeks out version, but we have two variations of the most muscular, and here we're looking at the hands clasped variation. My eyes are drawn again to the chest. Dorian was uh, criticized for not having a big chest and this might be because of too much cutting in the prep, because his chest looks world class 6 weeks out. Downstairs he suffers here, the angles are different uh, though, so the Olympia looks bigger downstairs because of that. Overall this pose goes to the photoshoot version, in my opinion again. As for the crab variation, this picture says a thousand words. He was so thick and round at 6 weeks out that in a pose like this it makes all the difference. Downstairs again I prefer the Olympia version but overall I'm giving this one to the photo shoot one. In conclusion, based on these pictures he seems to be looking so much more dangerous 6 weeks out from the show but there is another thing. I said at the beginning that Dorian is considered the first mass monster but how can that be when in 93 you had Jurassic Paul Delayed, for example? A couple of years later you would have a massive Nasserel somebody walking around. I don't necessarily agree with this statement, that he was the first mass monster, but he definitely was the champion that changed the paradigm for others to follow. What I want to say though is that Dorian was known more for his crazy sharp conditioning, than his mess and I believe this is how he was able to always defeat guys like Nasser or somebody, Paul Delay, Kevin Levroni and others. Not because he was bigger than them but because he was so much sharper while being big enough. So I think he did good. I believe he, it was wise for him to get as cooked as much as he did. Not sure it would have worked against Ronnie Corman though but Ronnie is the exception whether you Dorianites like it or not. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments your opinion on the subject, subscribe and as always, thank you guys and see you next time.